we provide you with a brief tour to get started. Let's start with the dashboard. From the dashboard, you can see any applications that you've previously created. Up the top, you can start from scratch, or you can have a look at a whole selection of templates that we provide. On the left-hand column, you can filter by applications that you've created yourself and applications that have been shared with you. We've got our learning center, and we've also got our help and support options. And if you have any questions, you can jump onto our chat. So let's create our first application. Firstly, select new application. From here, you can browse any of the templates available. You can preview the templates. And if you want to use that template, simply click use template. We're going to start from blank. From here, you can see the main canvas within our studio editor. The first thing you can do is add your first block. Simply click here and it will open up the block navigation bar. We've got two distinct tabs. The first tab is a static tab. These are block elements that don't require any connection with Airtable. The other tab is called dynamic. These dynamic blocks will do require you to connect to your Airtable base, which is really easy and we'll show you that later. On the left hand column, we've got our pages tab. From the pages tab, you can add new pages to your application. And you can also look at the settings for each particular page. We've got the general settings, the SEO settings for this particular page, your social settings, any visibility conditions, and you can add custom code. The next thing we can look at is the theme. So from the theme settings, we can change the global theme and styling settings across your entire application. We can change the header fonts, the weights, all the colors and, and general styling across the application. We can also change the styling of the buttons. And lastly, we can also change the different width options for your website. Next up is the users tab. The users tab is your hub to manage all your users that have access to your application. You can connect to Airtable and sync your user table from Airtable to software. You can also add new users singly or by bulk import via CSV file. And lastly, we've got the settings tab. For the general settings, you can add a custom domain from here, a whole list of integrations that we support, global SEO, custom code, user groups and permissions, email signature. Let's jump back to the canvas and add our first block. And your first block, we're gonna choose the hero to start off. As you can see here, at the very top of the navigation, we've got a few different options. We've got our laptop, viewport, our tablet and our mobile viewport. From here, we can tab between them to see what it looks like across the different device types. Each block in software is mobile responsive by default. We can also jump across to the preview mode. From here, we can preview the website. And again, we can toggle between the different device types. And lastly, we've got the publish button. From here, clicking Publish, you can change your subdomain by simply typing into the field. You can also add your custom domain by clicking here. And once you're ready, all you need to do is click Publish. 